Welcome, 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 TBW Clips. I am Tyson. Today, today, we got the student protesters who are returning back to class. Let's see how this is going to play out. Outside Moore Hall, you can see some of the uh, university police officers that are here in their tactical gear. And inside the building, we're not exactly sure, but it appears there are some people in there wearing masks. We don't know if they're students or faculty, uh, but they brought in these barriers surrounding the entrances and exits of this building. Again, we don't have a lot of information as to what exactly is happening here. We understand that the Sheriff's Department, the other county Sheriff's Department is on scene as well. We asked the Sheriff's Department, who was it that asked for your assistance in this? And they said that, that was not information that they were going to to give, but this is supposed to be a day of normalcy for students coming back to campus, this new uh, Office of Campus Safety that's supposed to start today, but. Is it that secret? The, so the police officers don't want to know who told them to come. Everything is so political. This is ridiculous. Why not? Did the, did the uh, UCLA tell them to come? Did politicians tell them to come? Why don't they want to say who told them to come? It's ridiculous. Uh, if there's any aspect of transparency or uh, information no being given out to anybody at this point, they are not done any of that, guys. We'll keep you posted, uh, let you know if anything changes and what all this turns into as it yeah. progresses. And then the timing of this, John, the campus reopening today after we saw all that civil unrest last week and the violence as well, and that has forced UCLA to essentially restructure uh, in terms of safety and security issues there on campus. I mean, the timing really couldn't be worse. It couldn't. This is supposed to be the day of normalcy. Students coming back to school, you know, that they had to cancel classes for a day last week. Uh, there were two days that they ended up going virtual. We're being told that uh, it's up to professors today if they want to stay virtual online class classes or if they want to do it in person. But they are supposed to be encouraged to allow students back in. Uh, but if this is the case, for example, more halls, it doesn't look like any students are going to be allowed into this building while they have these barriers set up. We showed you earlier uh, in our previous report how uh, there's a lot of activity on campus with uh, police cruisers driving by with their uh, sirens blaring um, and moving quickly. It appears this is what they were headed to. They were coming to this building. They had taken a bunch of the barriers that they had put up where the encampment was set up previously, took those down and rushed them over here. Again, we don't exactly know why uh, or what is happening. No one uh, has been willing to give us any information that includes the uh, campus police department, the sheriff's department, uh, even some students who have come by uh, trying to do some live feeds on social media. They're not willing to say what's what they know or what they think is happening as well. So uh, we're trying to figure all this out. Of course, it's our intent to make sure that we get you the facts as to what's happening and uh, make sure that you know exactly uh, what's happening with regards to the truth and all that. So we'll work on that. And as we uh, hear more, we'll get it back to you guys. All right, John, thank you for that. We, of course, will have live news, weather, and traffic updates all morning long, and we will continue to give you the latest here during the Today Show. All right, there you go. So they've pretty much, uh, UCLA has called in law enforcement to uh, maintain order. Um, a lot of the students aren't really going there to learn. They might have to learn uh, remotely. It's up to what the teachers they said. But, you know, like I said, I have no uh, sympathy for um, for the campuses, um, the students who are really trying to learn, who are not really uh, a part of this. Yeah, a lot of sympathy for those um, because they're being prohibited from getting a good education by other students who I personally believe are protesting to the wrong people. So... Let me know if you think I'm wrong, um, but I doubt it. Um, uh, let me know down in the comments. I appreciate it. And you guys have a great one.